We're currently standing in Maple Ridge on the north side of the Fraser River. Right across from us is Langley, BC, where there's Metro Vancouver's Northwest Langley Wastewater Treatment Plant. This treatment plant currently serves about 30,000 people. It's currently undergoing a quite a substantial uh, expansion to serve up to 280,000 households. As part of this program, all wastewater generated on the north bank of the Fraser River, so for the municipalities of Pitt Meadows and Maple Ridge, that wastewater needs to be uh, diverted to the south bank in Langley, BC. To do this, an HDD crossing is required. So we're currently in the process of installing twin parallel force mains. The pipes are 36 inches in diameter and are approximately 1,648 meters long. To assemble these pipes, a laydown was required on the southern bank in Langley. The agencies involved in the construction process for this project were Metro Vancouver. We had Pomelo as the general contractor. We had the tunneling company who was in charge of installing the 84 inch casing under the Golden Ears Way and installing the surface casings for the entry and exit points of the HDD operation. We had the crossing company who was in charge of the HDD operation itself. And we had Blue Fox Engineering who was our major engineering consultant for the entire operation. What makes this project outstanding is the incredible amount of collaboration that occurred to make this project a reality. We're incredibly thankful that Metro Vancouver trusted us with this amazing challenge, and we're so thankful that we were able to contribute to the local community. Blue Fox was retained by Palmerlow and the Crossing Group to be their trenchless consultant and uh, engineer on this project. We provided pre-construction planning, um, developing the HDD designs and optimizing the alignment. And then during construction, we provided on-site uh, field engineers and environmental UAV monitoring. There was uh, significant upfront planning required just due to the scale of the project. Um, we placed heavy emphasis on the site-specific subsurface conditions. Um, any smaller problems was expected to be exacerbated just due to the scale. And then combined with some of the supply chain constraints and the sequencing required, there was some um, adjustments uh, in sourcing material that had to be considered. The primary technical considerations were due to the, the challenging subsurface conditions and then also due to the length of the parallel crossings. So we placed a heavy emphasis on evaluating those site-specific conditions, um, ensuring that the HDD alignment targeted a suitable depth below the watercourse, and then also the isolation techniques uh, due to the stone column ground surface upgrades on the south side. And then for the drag section, due to the length that was available in the dense urban environment, um, there was some challenges that had to be considered uh, along with the layout and the geometry of that, of that layout. We were hired to install the surface casing for the directional drills and uh, the cloverleaf crossing of 84 inch casing. To complete our portion of the project, the first thing we did was install the surface casings uh, on the Fraser River on both sides to uh, um, using pipe ramming. And then we uh, used um, tunnel boring and pipe ramming to install the 84 inch steel casing under the cloverleaf after that. We installed 50 meters of 72 inch casing and then we telescoped with 122 meters of 60 inch casing inside that. And we did that side by side, there were two crossings, so we did them right side beside each other. And then on the exit side of the Fraser River, we installed 55 meters of 60 inch casing, same thing side by side. And then uh, under the cloverleaf, we installed 127 meters of 84 inch steel casing pipe. Some of the key challenges we encountered were just pushing the limits of all the technology, like uh, installing 60 inch casing 122 meters down is, no, it's, I shouldn't say it's something we haven't ever done, but it's, it's the, definitely one of the deeper ones we've put in. So uh, there was a little bit of challenges with that, but we had good, good equipment and, and big equipment to get it down that deep. The crossing company was hired to complete two parallel horizontal directional drills underneath the Fraser River in Vancouver for two 36 inch product lines. This project required an intersect methodology. This means that two rigs were used, one placed on each side of the Fraser River. They met at a predetermined intersect point. Once the intersection was complete, we began reaming. We reamed into to a predetermined hole diameter. Because of the width of the river, we were unable to use uh, a surface coil, so we used the gyroscopic steering method. Once we completed the pilot hole, we began reaming to get to our predetermined final hole diameter. This was completed using 
a barrel reamer and a fly cutter because of the soft ground conditions. So having to complete these pullbacks with such a complicated drag section assembly with all these curvatures and, and logistical constraints makes this project quite outstanding. The key challenges of the pipeline lift uh, were due to the available workspace. So we had to lift the pipeline um, to match the exit tangent angle, of course, on the front end. And then on the rear end, we had to bring the pipe down quickly and then horizontally across uh, down into the tunnel across the clover leaf, and then uh, the pipeline had to be laid out in such a way to meet the horizontal and vertical requirements of the available workspace in the urban environment. And then we had to have a mid weld just due to the length that was too short to accompany the entire 1.6 kilometer drag section. To me, this project was outstanding just due to the combined efforts of all the trenchless technologies uh, within the crossing group that would ultimately not have been possible using conventional methods. Uh, just the scale of the project, pushing the various equipment technologies to their ultimate capacities and constructing and, and challenging subsurface conditions. What makes this project outstanding is the collaboration and teamwork that went into making it successful. It feels awesome to look back on the work we've completed to deliver a critical piece of infrastructure to the communities in Metro Vancouver.